the friends in Christ. Welcome to Thursday of the 11th week in the ordinary time. Forgiveness belongs to God. In fact, when Jesus told the paralytic, your sins are forgiven you. Or the woman who wept and used her hair to wipe his feet, her many sins are forgiven. The Pharisees wondered why anyone will place himself in God's position as to forgive sins. As children of God in Christ, however, Jesus invites us to a mission of forgiveness. In the Gospel of today, taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 to 15, Jesus was teaching his disciples on how to pray. All prayers revolve around the two pillars of praise and petition. He gave them the formula for that prayer by saying, in praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. In yesterday's gospel, he had taught them not to make a show of their prayers because God sees what is done even in secret and will answer the prayers. The first part of the Lord's Prayer addresses the praise of God as the Father of all whose name must be hallowed. It calls on the kingdom of God to come as it is in heaven. By this, it challenges us to live according to the will of God. The second part of the prayer addresses human needs. Give us this day our daily bread. This encompasses all material needs, everything one can acquire through human effort. But the prayer recognizes that we need the grace of God on our efforts to achieve them. But beyond daily supplies of material food, we call for the bread of God's presence, the Eucharist, for Jesus is that living bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. This phrase recognizes that we are indebted to God. We are sinners in need of the mercy of God who must also turn to our neighbor and show forth the same mercy. The same thing applies to our quest for God's help in our need. Just the way we want God to provide our needs, we must be open and willing to generously give to those in need of our help. We conclude by asking God to deliver us from evil. Jesus then puts further emphasis at the end of the prayer on forgiveness. He says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. With this, Jesus places a condition on forgiveness. We are fortunate to have the sacrament of reconciliation in which a penitent approaches a priest at confession and receives pardon for his or her sins. But we cannot take anything for granted. The Lord sets a condition. Just as we value the forgiveness that comes from God, we must also be willing to forgive others. If that is all God is demanding of us, can we refuse to do it? And our prayers not be babbles if we petition God to do for us what is beyond us can we refuse to give what is within our power to others we will not pray rightly if we hold grudges against others if we fail to forgive them their wrongs if we fail to recognize our human frailty in others around us is there someone you have failed to forgive until now? The Lord asks you to forgive as we forgive those who sin against us.
Let us pray. Lord, grant us the grace to realize that we are all in need of your pardon, and so pardon those who have offended us. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.